What's up everyone? Uh, welcome to another tutorial. Welcome to another video. It's been quite a long time since I created a tutorial. I've been busy. Yes, so uh, yeah, as I was saying, I've been busy with releases. Uh, been busy pushing music. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So I'm just gonna be showing you uh, the relationship between the kick and the bass. Um, let's get a nice punchy kick first. Okay, this is our kick. It's gonna play four steps. As you can hear, this kick has a bit of bass at the end. Okay, so let me just do something. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, so just gonna be checking out the relationship between the kick and the bass or the buzz. It sounds so natural when you say bass instead of saying bass. <laughs> Alright. It's fine. Alright. Okay, so uh, this is our normal kick. Uh, for instance, let's say we have our sub. I'm just going to keep the tutorial basic. Let's go with E flute. Oh no, let's go with sub. Uh, FM sub. Rather than. Um, uh, okay, let's go with this. The FM sub has a bit of knock at the beginning compared to the E flute. So basically, let's just say this uh, bass line here. Do, 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 uh hold on 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 a second <coughs> okay let's see this is our baseline right here right here you know so let's see this is our baseline uh, okay as you can hear that's the baseline and this is our kick. As you can hear, the bass line and the kick are clashing at this point. The, the bass line and the kick are clashing, as you can hear. Um, hold on. Okay, right. So, we're just going to route the kick. Um, now, we're going to set chain the kick. Before side chain, you can just go to your sub, ne? and then you click on um, minus. You can achieve the timing. Let's say you shift the timing and you say it hits late. You can hear that now. The kick and the the bass line, uh, they're no more clashing because they're hitting uh, uh, at a different time. For instance, now the kick when it hits uh, our bass line is uh, it hits uh, six minus six milliseconds just before the kick. Okay, that's another way of doing it. Now, if you don't want the latency, you can just come over here, over here, side chain your kick to your bass. So that may be visible. Section a kick to your base, and then from there you go to uh, limiter, uh, compression. You click your kick, and then you start limiting. Uh, from there, the ratio. I like to keep a very 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 strong ratio so 
kick it more tight or you can just go to transient processor and then cut the release but it does a subtle uh, subtle change if you want your kick to have more attack it just makes it have a bit of more knock at the end as you can hear this one is more muffled this one it just increases that high that high note so uh, yeah and so that's basically how to um, hold on. yeah that's basically how to uh, balance uh, the kick and the bass line it works wonders no matter the genre that you're making it works wonders yeah so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope it was beneficial uh, i'm gonna start making short videos like this and i'm gonna my videos more on mastering and uh stuff all right so um yeah thanks for tuning in guys and uh don't forget to check out my new single uh i released it with um my single with artwork sounds is here stuff samalaka just check out this dope uh back to back basics ep by artwork sounds and mr shane yeah. so one of my singles it's in here um it's me artwork sounds deep essentials mr shane sa and a dope vocalist section five so yeah to check it out guys and also don't forget to check out my ep as well this one over here and yeah that's basically it thank you for tuning in guys and uh don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell